Okay. Got another one. This is from Catskill, New York. Medium flat rate box. No major damage. In fact, it's in very good condition. Now I'm assuming that in this box is a Numicron clock. Newspaper. The Mountain Penny table. Sunday, October 17th of 2010. So far it looks very promising. Well, it does appear the box was penetrated with something, but it didn't get in and get to anything. Bubble wrap. Yes, it is an Umicron. Can't read the date. Appears to be, you know, the mid, the standard mid sixties. Uh, 765. So we're going to try plugging this guy in. Yes, it is running. Fifty. Fifty five. And yes, it is a working movie crown. Now I got this for an opening bid of 99 cents, plus I believe $12 shipping. Okay, open it up, make sure there's no stowaways in here. You should always open stuff up when you bring, it shouldn't even actually be bringing it in here, but until it's opened up. But I've never had an incident, so. The inside of the cover is quite clean. There's no cracks around the screws, which was one of the reasons why I went after it. I figured I could resell one of my cracked ones in its place. The inside is actually quite clean. I turn the light off. So much glare. It has the asbestos heat shield. The motor is running very quietly. The one that you're actually hearing in the background is this one, which I'll explain in a couple minutes. It's been running for a few days now, but it's not a, it's not as quiet normally as these. This thing's running absolutely quiet. I can unplug the other one a second. Definitely a good price, just for the motor. And I'll have to remove the asbestos.
Now this one is the one that I was talking about where I took the uh, motor out of a Culligan water softener that didn't work and I had a cam that took the smaller thread that wasn't the standard thread but it was smaller and I just by hand machined it out to an oval to fit this particular motor which is a 1 RPM Eden Technologies or Eden Controls uh, motor out of the Culligan water softener which I have kind of jerry-rigged it onto the bracket which was part of the original motor that had stripped gears this is a 30 style stamped steel framed movement although it has the more modern wheels on it because I took the original wheels off of this movement and put them in this because this wagon clock looks a lot better with the more old-fashioned looking numbers but has a modern motor and frame this motor does get a little bit warm but it keeps perfect synchronized time with two other Numicrons I ran three all weekend as you can see I just took the original motor bracket the bolts kind of pinched on the lip of it there that's my adjustment to adjust how close the motor is to the teeth there you get it too close it can jam up or it'll move the wheel one and a half times and then jam on the next time around too far away it won't move the wheel all the way down the bottom screw is sharing the mounting hole and I don't know if I got the original I didn't think to grab it ahead of time but I have this other original motor which is a different style I reworked the coil on it and everything but the actual Telecron portion of the motor is worn out and it keeps stopping but it's a good safe coil and gearbox but the Telecron section is bad in this one <clears throat> I call it Telecron it's not made by Telecron but it uses a Telecron type uh, design and I still have one more adapter plate which actually has threaded screws whereas I could put a synchron motor on one of these <coughs> but I'm gonna sell this I keep all my clock stock I'll sell it I'll tell the buyer it's, it has a different motor in it I'm gonna show this video it's keeping great time but you can hear the motor running Especially if I touch the camera right against it. But it's usable, it's accurate, safe, and really cool. So this was another score of another Numicron. Opening bid. Plus shipping. The Numicrons.